Yes. Um, J A N. J A N N. Okay, and M A T H I S. I E S. Yes. Okay. And so you were uh, neighbors. Yes. Purposing. And so, tell me about. I mean, how long have you known him? And oh. just your experiences with him. Since before he got married. Yeah. Before he got married, I don't know, maybe nine years. When did he get married? I think it's been about three years. Uh, two to three years. So he's lived there a while. Oh yeah, yeah. We've known him a good while. He was a fishing partner with my husband. He and his wife were on uh, the boat out in the lake with my husband one day and all three of them had fish on at the same time. Yeah. Lots of happy memories. And you know his parents? Yes. Our um, neighbors too. Our, his parents are our neighbors. Yeah. They all live together? No. Ron well, and his wife yeah. live in the neighborhood too. Very close. Um, so what made you want to come out here today? Because we're broken hearted and sickened at what is happening to our officers. Uh, when they go through so much training to protect us and to have their life just wiped out so needlessly, it just makes us heart sick. And I just feel like if we can all band together and see change happen, but it's going to take all of us working together. And I think sometimes people feel like I'm only one person. What can I do? But you see what happens when one person decides to make a sign, get in their car and get down here. And hopefully we'll see change. And I hope our leaders are really listening. What do you want to see change in most? I am very much against sanctuary cities and sanctuary states. And I was very upset to wake up one morning and hear on the news that California is now a sanctuary city and the people had no input. We did not get to vote on this. It just isn't right. I'm feeling like, where is the voice of the people now? And to see our nation so divided makes me heart sick as well. So much for your time. Um, is there anything else you'd want to say to? I don't know if you've got a chance to speak to uh, to Corporal Singh's family or um, very briefly. Is there anything you'd want to say to them or anything? I would say to the family, we grieve with you. This is a tremendous loss to the community, to the neighborhood, and especially his family and. We're standing with you, we're praying very many times throughout the day for your strength and support.